This segment of the Gale session will focus on global issues in context. We'll begin here at the Go Wild Databases page. Access to global issues in context can be found under Students, Social Issues, or Alphabetic by Title. Global Issues in Context, a Gale database, has access to help right here on the topic page as well as a search box. I'm going to click on the title and go into the database. This database focuses on global issues, conflicts and events, covering human rights, economics, civics, women's studies, cultures and countries. There's a basic search box, an advanced search screen, and a browse issues and topics, as well as an interactive world map by Google. On the main page, there are eight features. These will vary depending on current news. You can browse these featured categories, select one of their portals, or click on the issue. By clicking on Health and Medicine, we see a broad list of issues and topics. Notice that they include if that site has been updated. If we go into one of these sites, you'll see that they have an overview and you can view full overview. This overview can be printed, emailed, downloaded, and there's a text-to-speech function. I'm going to click on our topic and go back and scroll down the page. You'll see that there are global viewpoints, reference items, statistics, news items, magazines, academic journals. When you come into one of these portal pages, you'll see that there are three items. So for example, under magazines, I have three magazines. When I come down to academic journals, once again, I have three items. To view all of the academic journals, I click on view all. And now I can come to my academic journals and view my list. Once again, I'm going to go back to our topic page. On the right, you'll see that there are podcasts, links to primary source documents, and some websites. And on the left-hand side, they list related portals. I'm going to go back out to the main page. In addition to these pre-selected categories, we can click on Browse, Issue, and Topics, where they bring those categories up again, or they also offer Browse by Regions. So I can come in, click on Middle East, and again select one of my topics. To do a more specific search, we can come up to the basic search box. And I'm going to search microloans. Once again, we have our viewpoints, our articles, our podcasts, our reference items, and they'll have three on the front page. And remember to click on View All. To narrow my search, I can come over here and select Limit by Subject, for example, Women. And now I have a smaller list to choose from. Back out on the main page, the world map allows you to jump to a global hotspot, focus on a nation, region, or culture. So for example, I can click on our map here. And I can focus in. So let's select AIDS and HIV, for example, from the Browse Topics on the left. And now you see it's added pins to our map. And I can come in, for example, and click on Botswana. And now it's brought up video and articles, narrowed in on a place in the world on a topic that I've chosen. At the top of Global Issues and Context is a link to Research Tools. Here you'll find tools for getting started, tools for wrapping up, and a research guide for using this database. So you'll see you have general tips for searching, finding a topic, and using your search terms. Under Educators Resources, they also include, in addition to those tools, curriculum standards where you can locate materials based on state standards.